All right, how's it going? So here's the Nissan, 2018 Nissan Armada. Uh, it's a follow-up video. We have a new short block. So we've got about 3,000 miles on the new short block. This is the this is a follow-up video to I did a knock engine knock video where the engine was sounding like a diesel pretty much. Um, so what I did was um, so what we're gonna do today is get up close to the wheel well, start it, keep it in park for a bit, and then put it in reverse. Put the foot on the brake, and then just kind of compare that to the previous video with the engine knock. So this one shouldn't knock, hopefully. So that's what we're gonna do. It'll be. Uh, you know, and after, then before, I'll take the old footage and I should have it and throw it in after this. And we'll do a little discussion afterward to see kind of what we went through to get a new engine block. So let me splice in the engine knock video footage. Yeah, it's about a minute and a half long. I'll do that next. Okay, so after that, here we can t I can talk about kind of what I went through um, getting the short block replaced. So here's the technical service bulletin, the TSB. Uh, for it's got the 5.6 liter V8 engine, so the Armada's on there, the Titan is on there, and the NV I think is their van. So this service bulletin is really simple, and. Um, so you got a knock, customer states a knock engine, you know, from the engine like I had. There's a tool, so what they do is they scope cylinder number seven. And I think they had trouble with five as well, number five. So here it is, nice little decision tree, knock from the engine area. That's the Titan, so we'll go right, so Armada. Remove number seven, inspect the cylinder wall for scuffing. And um, is it scuffed? and so on and so forth. Uh, it says, yes, replace the short block, the short engine assembly. So that's the short block. That's like your whole engine block. They use the top part, like the heads and stuff, if they can reuse it. But yeah, pretty, I guess, it's pretty big deal, I guess. Um, here's the cylinder wall inspection. You know, they just scope it, pull a plug and scope it. And then here's pictures of a good cylinder wall. Got some cross hatching there and the scuffed cylinder wall okay so that is um in the tsb numbers ntb19-057 so this is october 2020 and i didn't see 
any updates uh, at this point for this TSB. I think the original date on this thing is July 22nd, 2019. Okay, so uh, read about this. I call the dealership for service, get an appointment. And um, so it took me two dealerships to get a new engine. So this is the first dealership. So I drop it off. Uh, April, early April 2020, COVID, you know, is in full effect, you know, lockdowns and whatnot. They're on shortened hours. So I pull up with an 8 o'clock in the morning appointment, pull up, the door's locked, it's 8.10, there's people running around, so I was like, well, who knows, you know, COVID, or maybe I just don't have the door unlocked. I mean, there are people running around, they see me sitting outside the window, whatever. So it's like, okay, well, to distance, I'm just going to throw the, throw the key into the, um, to the night uh, drop, did that, called them as I was on my way home and said, hey, I knocked, you know, the door was locked and I, I dropped off the keys, so check it out. And then so later on in the day, they call me and they say, well, you know what, we didn't hear an engine knock. I said, what? You know, didn't, didn't hear it. So uh, after the fact, I didn't know this at the time, but the engine, you know, and I should have maybe played around with the engine and driven it more and this and that, the engine knock quiets down with a warm engine at least my case so heads up on that that's pretty key for my situation so they, they said well let's go wait for the next oil change and you know i changed my own oil i'm not going to go to the dealer he offered a 90 dollars or something air filter which i later replaced for 20 and so on and so forth so i went and picked it up excuse me i before that i, I called back i said you know i reviewed this service bolt and bolt and i called back i said i mean it doesn't say anything about whether or not you can hear the knock or, or not um right here it doesn't say anything about listen for a knock it just says remove the plug and scope it which to me it doesn't i mean i thought i could do that i think you know um i even had a buddy that had a um a bore scope or whatever so I even considered doing it myself and doing a video but anyway so I called it back it's like you can't pull the plug and scope it nope we don't hear the knock so I went back at this point I'm a consumer scorned not really happy so anyway get it back and you know cool off two or three weeks second second dealership make an appointment and um, this time I take it in I talk to the service rep and you know, we listen to the engine, put it in reverse. In reverse, the knock is more pronounced, but sure enough, the it was a 20 or 30 minute drive, the engine had warmed up and you could barely hear the knock. And I had two service guys there, you know, they couldn't, I could still hear the knock. That engine is pretty chattery uh, when it idles, which is kind of, doesn't. it's not the greatest sounding V8 when it idles, it's got a lot of, they said it was, um, fuel injection chatter noise and the normal but I could still hear the knock over that and, and but they, they could not so I, I don't I don't think I have an ear for engine noises I'm, I'm not like a so anyway um, they called back and said you know we didn't hear it but let's keep it overnight and I'm like you gotta you know a cold engine is um, the way to go and listen to it so kept it overnight sure enough in the morning they said yep we uh, they heard the knock scoped it and you know we're on the we're processing you know we're on the road we're on the road to get a new uh, short block for you so so that was good news um so the warranty i think is sixty thousand miles and this occurred as about about thirty eight thousand miles again it's a twenty thousand or excuse me 2018 nissan armada with the the uh 5.6 and so yeah it was um thirty eight thousand miles when it um when we took it in 38,464 miles actually and uh, so I think 60,000 is, is the um, like the powertrain warranty on it so um, took about two weeks to get a new short block from Nissan and um, so there it is that's my uh, that's my my experience that helps you hopefully the before and after or the after and before uh, knock footage might help you if you're in the same boat and just make sure you take it in and get uh, on a cold engine. Have them listen to it on a cold engine. I did the second time around. I did print out the TSB and I said, "Listen, this is what I want to happen." Okay, and um, still they go by, you know, if they hear it or not. So, um, so there's that little update, and hopefully that helps you out. Look over my notes here, see if I missed anything. 
Uh, yeah, so the process wasn't too bad. Um, it was a couple weeks. They did have some trouble with the engine shipping, get, getting getting the engine just because of COVID and the shipping time and stuff like that. But overall, the the service rep said it was a fairly, of, of the ones he's seen, of engine replacement cases that he's seen, this one was a smooth one. Um, so that's... Um, that's good, and so we are about about three thousand miles on the on the engine. I got to look at the check the oil and stuff, but uh, so far so good. Um, we really like the car. It's very it's good for road trips. Is why we got it. So, and the engine is. I mean, if it's not knocking, man, that it's a really powerful engine, like three hundred ninety horse, and it makes that big tank of an Armada move like. Uh, like it like nobody's business. So um so there's that. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.